YouTube. It's Casey again. Boy, has it been a minute. So I went on a little bit of a hiatus over the past year, I think it's been. Honestly, I just was finishing up school. I just graduated and doing YouTube at the same time as finishing school and doing my capstone and all of these other organizations I was a part of. Doing YouTube videos all the time was just really, really hard. But great news. Now that I'm really not up to anything, I uh... <laughs> Can get back to doing this. So I'm back. To get back into the swing of things, I just wanted to do a regular going out look. This is pretty much the exact look that I wear every time I go out now. If you wanna know how to get this look, then The first thing we're gonna do is prime our faces. So I'm taking a dime size amount on my fingertips, and then I like to put the pore professional just in places where I have the biggest pores. Moving on to foundation, which I realize I have none left of that color. And I'm just gonna dab that all over my face and go in with the Beauty Blender and just blend that out as usual. I know what you're thinking, that doesn't match my skin color, but don't you worry, we are gonna make it work. Then for concealer, I'm just taking my NARS concealer under my eyes, around my nose, any dark spots really, and again, I'm just blending that out. It's a good under eye. Then I'm really quickly gonna fill in my brows. Pretty much just filling them in and then taking concealer and carving them out so they look nice and sharp. After brows, I like to set concealer that I put down with some loose powder. And then I'm just going in with some pressed powder to set the rest of my face. For bronzer, I'm going into my Naked Skin Palette and just bronzing up face, just in the usual areas on my cheeks, forehead, jawline. and just adding some blush as well. Onto the eyes, I'm starting out with the shade Sauced, which is like a peachy nude color, and I'm just putting that in my crease as my transition shade. Then I'm going into the color Low Blow, and as you can see, I'm putting this a little bit lower than where I put the last color. If I put it right on top of the last color, they would just kind of mix together, whereas putting it a little bit lower creates that ombre gradient effect that we all try to achieve when we do our eyeshadow. Then to deepen it up, I'm taking a smaller eyeshadow brush with the color Cayenne, and I'm just putting that on the outer V. What I like to do with darker colors in the outer V is pack it on with a smaller brush, and then go back in with the original blending brush and blend it together with the other colors. Not naked. I'm <sighs> so then I'm gonna cut the crease. Pretty much what putting concealer on your eye does is it makes a blank canvas for other colors to pop. Then before I go in with my glitter, I'm gonna set the lid with the first color in the palette called Ounce, which is just a white shade. After that, I'm gonna go in with my glitter. I'm using the Stila Magnificent Metals in the shade Ballet Baby, so I'm pretty much just putting that right over where the concealer was. I'm taking a pencil brush to blend out the outer edges of it so it kind of blends into the rest of the eyeshadow. And then I also like to go back in with some of the darker colors just to blend it together a little. As you can see, this makes it look a lot more cohesive. Then I'm just popping on some eyelashes and some mascara. And then I'm gonna go on to the bottom lash line. For this, I'm just taking Sauced and Cayenne and just blending that out on the lower lash line. And to finish up the eyes, I'm just putting mascara on the lower eyelashes. To finish off the face, I'm just adding some highlighter onto my cheekbones, my nose, and the inner corners of my eyes. For lipstick, I'm just using this MAC lipstick in the shade Blankety. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with some setting spray.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. There should hopefully be more videos now. For those of you who stuck around and stay subscribed while I was on this hiatus, thank you so much. I promise there are gonna be a ton Rude. I promise there are gonna be tons of more videos this summer. And I honestly miss making these videos. It's so much fun. But yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.